Hey friends and welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to share my upcoming Disney World trip with you all. So today I want to talk about something that can make your dining experience at the parks even more magical, making dining reservations. So today I'm going to be sharing with you where we hope to dine at Disney on our upcoming trip and also how to reserve magical extras on your next trip. But before we dive in, if you are new to this channel, hi. I'm Andrea. I'm so glad to be hanging out with you today. On this channel, I share all kinds of Disney planning with the toddler, travel tips and tricks, all the vlogs from Disney adventures and daily mom life and just, you know, all the things. So I'd love if you stuck around and hit that subscribe button down below. I have a ton more vlogs coming up that you do not want to miss, but for now, Let's make some dining reservations and some magical reservations. Let's get to it. All right, good morning, guys. So it is almost 6 a.m. I'm about to get on my laptop and start going after some of my dining reservations, but I am going into it with a plan and I would highly suggest that you do as well. So you cannot make dining reservations until 60 days out until the first day of your trip. If you're staying on property, you can book that entire week's worth or however long you're gonna be staying. If you're staying off property, you're going to have to get up every single morning to make a dining reservation for that 60 day out of every single day. I hope that makes sense. Um, also, if you're gonna be doing some extras, I know I've mentioned um, on my Instagram that you can go fishing, you can go golfing, there's putt-putt at Disney World, there's Bippity Boppity Boutique that we did on our last trip in September. You'll have to check that one out as well. So all of that is 60 days out. Um, so we're dining reservations. Those dining reservations open up at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so an example like Bippity Boppity Boutique, that reservation will open up. It will show on your My Disney Experience app at 60 days out, but at midnight. So those are two different things. So if you're really going during a time that is very, very busy, I would highly suggest being ready at midnight on that 60 days out for all of your magical extras. You can get the Bippity Boppity for um, on your computer or your My Disney Experience app, uh, but with fishing and golfing, etc., I'll show you some different ways on how to reserve those. But right now we're going to go after our dining. Our family is actually going to Disney World in the month of January. It might be one of my top months to go to Disney World because the weather is absolutely perfect. We'll be staying at um, a DVC villa at Saratoga Springs. It's going to be our first time staying at Saratoga, so we're very, very excited. The idea of this trip is to really chase after relaxation, um, very low key, but we are also foodies and we love Disney dining. So our plan is always the boathouse. Something new that we're going to be trying is the fireworks, like the before uh, Happily Ever After fireworks party at Magic Kingdom. And then um, we always try to do Fantasmic because we're not really talented at standing in our long lines for Fantasmic. So we always just try to make sure and get a Fantasmic dining package. Probably gonna be Mama Melrose as our last trip. There's a vlog that we tried that for the first time and it was phenomenal. Um, so we'll probably do the Fantasmic package for that one. We've done Hollywood and Vine for the Fantasmic package before and that one's delicious too. If you've got a picky eater, it's a buffet style. So I highly recommend that one. It's, it's always gonna be a win regardless. A couple other ones that are potentially our family favorites is Via Napoli, that one's an Epcot. And then Tusker House is a really, really great character meal for your Animal Kingdom day. I really encourage you to look at restaurants around resort properties. There's some hidden gems that are very, very delicious. So if you have any questions or you want some recommendations, drop in the comments below and I will give you my favorite places to eat, um, specifically for families or if it's just gonna be an adult meal or if you've got a preschooler, kids, etc. Just drop in the comments and we'll, we'll talk. So right now I'm gonna go to the Disney website. It is about five till six a.m. and I'm just gonna go ahead and log in and um, make sure that we are ready. 
All right, here we go. It is time. All right, so if you're going after specific restaurants, I recommend to always just put in the search bar and you can go to that specific restaurant rather than putting a time and breakfast, etc. unless you really, really know uh, that you're gonna be browsing for a reservation, um, I would suggest that. And if you're wondering why I'm sitting in a corner and not at a table, um, my family gets up very, very early, including my three-year-old. And so she's in the living room. I am in her bedroom. I'm borrowing her room. Um, and so I'm kind of hiding. <laughs> okay, so I've got my pre-party at Magic Kingdom for the fireworks. Now I'm gonna do the boathouse. The boathouse is getting really, really popular. We loved it before it was popular, but it is a must eat every single time. And since we are staying at Saratoga, it is just a ferry away. So we can just get on the boat. It's gonna be pretty chill. We don't have to get on the buses. Um, it's It will be nice. And for some reason, it's not showing me all of my options for times. That's concerning. <laughs> So I'm going to move forward. It's um, like whenever I say for times, it's not showing my, and I'll put this on the screen. So it's not showing me my entire time frame that I'm going to be there, which is really bizarre. So it should show the entire time. Um, we'll see. Let's go to our next dining. All right, so I got all of my dining reservations. Some tips, make sure that your credit cards are saved on your account. And if not, you're gonna need your credit card sitting right next to you. So example would be for the pre-party. Um, you'll need to have your credit card saved in there because you're gonna need to know the CVV so you can type that in quickly. So that's gonna be the first. The second tip is, Always have your phone as a backup um, with the dates that did not pop up. They did pop up on my, my, um, on my Disney Experience app. So make sure that you have both options available uh, quickly, that you are both logged in to all of them. Um, a third tip would also be ensuring that you have multiple multiple options to log into. So there have been times where we flint during peak season at Disney World and I have been very competitive <laughs> with getting my very um, busy and top priority restaurants. Um, things that go out such as Chef Mickey's or Artist Point um, with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, those go really quick. Um, Akershus Breakfast, that will go very quickly. And then how I mentioned the Boathouse, that goes pretty quick too. So during those peak times when you're going, Though I will log into multiple devices. I've done four, like my uh, my MacBook, I've done my phone, I've done my uh, toddler's um, iPad, I've done my husband's cell phone. So whichever one is working the quickest is what I used. Um, so I highly recommend to be prepared. And also make sure that you're setting alarms. So I know in the mornings as a mom, it can get a little crazy. And with my house, my child wakes up at 5.30, 6 a.m. every day and I get distracted. So make sure that you're setting alarms to remind yourself, working your way up that, hey, you've got five minutes until you are ready to go. Pull up that world clock on your MacBook or your computer or whatever device you're using and make sure that you know what time it is to ensure that you're not gonna miss out on the first dibs. All right, so we've got the dining reservations out of the way. Now the magical extras. So we are going to concentrate on the fishing excursions. My husband loves to fish. 
particularly bass fishing, and we are going to go as a family this time. Annie has not went on the fishing excursion, and neither have I. Last time Tyler went, I bought it for him for a Father's Day gift. It was a four-hour basket bass excursion at Epcot. He docked from the Yacht Club, and he actually got to fish in the World Showcase before it was open to the park, and I'll make sure that I post a picture up on the screen so you can see, and so you can post it so your husbands can see, and maybe this could be the turning point that you convince your husband to go to Disney World because he can fish. <laughs> so this is one uh, convincing point that I can use to get my husband a little bit more excited to go to Disney World. So all you're going to do is you're going to, 60 days up, you're going to call a special number and I'll put it on the screen. Um, I know like the last four digits spell fish. Um, and you're going to tell them whether you want a two hour fishing excursion or a four hour fishing excursion and how many adults, how many kids. And I believe the max of people that can be on the particular one that we do, and that's on the pontoon. I believe the max amount of people can be five and um, they will provide everything. They provide fishing poles. They actually provide small snacks and drinks on there and um, they provide baits. My husband has a travel size fishing pole that he actually brings with him and I can put that in the description below, but he'll bring his reels and his rod. That is the travel size that breaks down and I'll have it all lined out you know, all the fishing talk and um, we'll go on that excursion. This time we are gonna go after fishing in the Seven Seas Lagoon. There are a lot more options to fish in Seven, Le Seven Seas Lagoon and from docking stations. So you can dock out from Contemporary, Polynesian, um, I, th I think there, you can do the Grand as well. Um, if you're gonna go from the Epcot side, I believe you can do the Caribbean Beach, but you don't go into World Showcase. And then obviously you've got the Yacht Club. And um, oh, back at Seven Seas Lagoon, I believe the Wilderness Lodge is another docking, but there'll be a full list um, on the Disney fishing website of where all the docking locations are. So we'll get that reservation wrapped up this morning. I will call them and get that done. Another magical extra that we're gonna be doing this trip is we're gonna be going golfing. So again, this is something that Tyler has done. I want to go to the PGA golf course that Tyler sent me videos of on our last trip in September and it was super fancy. He said that he was just extremely catered to. The course was absolutely gorgeous. So we are gonna go along with him. I have already called just to make sure that Annie is allowed to tag along with this, how much that an additional cost would be. I'm not a huge golfer. I might hit the ball a couple times, so then I would actually have to pay the golfing fee. But I believe that they had told me that it was gonna be an additional $20 to tag along. That does include the golf cart um, and just like the tag along fee. And it would be $20 for myself and $20 in addition to Annie. And we can go along with Tyler. And I can also put in the uh, description box below of his traveling case that is TSA approved to bring his golf clubs along with us and um, they can get there safely. And let's talk about baggage for a second. It just hit me. He's bringing a golf bag and his fishing pole and then he gets on to me about overpacking. Those are, that takes up a lot of space, right? So to book your golfing, you can actually go to the Disney Golf Course website and I will put that up on the screen as well so you can kind of see that. And then my husband, I will have to ask him, uh, there's a certain app or a website that he actually can go to sometimes and get really good deals. So I'll also put that in the description box below. I will have to ask him this morning and, and see what he, um, what his opinion is and we might, you know, get some additional footage. I doubt it, but um, I'll check with him to see um, what that website is. But there is a main website for the Disney website where you can pick whichever golf course there is. We like to choose whichever golf course is closest to us. But again, um, I really want to see the PGA one. And then I know that there is one close to Saratoga that we could possibly do as well. Our last trip, we stayed at the Grand Floridian. So we had many options where we could just where Tyler could just pop across the street and me and Annie were hanging out by the pool and then he just came back and travel time was almost zero. He could just Uber or whatever. So that is our plans for the next trip. And we will have all those reservations done today, 60 days out. If you do have any questions about 
reserving Bippity Boppity Boutique. I will put another link in the description box so you can refer back to another video where I did a little bit more in depth of a reservation video and that's where I actually booked the Bippity Boppity Boutique and then there was there's actually a vlog out there too that's really really cute of Annie at Bippity Boppity so if you don't know if you want to do that magical extra definitely recommend checking out that video. I'll put that in the description box below. It's going to be a big description box till it today, I believe. But um, I really appreciate you joining me today and hanging out with me this morning. So if you could make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share this video with all your friends that have an upcoming Disney trip. And I will see you on the video on the screen or at Disney World. Bye.